Hello friends, so previously we discussed the time reversal operation in the continuous time domain. Now let us do the same in the discrete time domain. So we will take the same signal as uh, in the continuous time domain. So if we take samples of these signals at equidistant points, the discrete time signal will look something like this. Zero, one, two, three, and four. At zero, it is zero. At one, it is one. At two, it is also equal to one. At three, also one. And four, it is again zero. So this is the discrete time signal. So, if we want to perform time reversal operation, it will be my x minus n. So, for that again, we will use the same approach. We will create a signal yn and we will equate it with this. Now, we have to determine the values of yn at different values of n. So, first y 0 will be x minus 0 will be same as x 0. So, here x 0 is equal to 0, x 1 is equal to 1, x 2 is equal to 1, x 3 is equal to 1 and x 4 is equal to 0. So, x 0 is 0, so it will be 0. Similarly, y1 will be x minus 1. Now, in the negative direction, there is no value of xn. It is not given, so it will be 0. Now, we do not need to go anywhere further in the positive direction because it will get us x minus 2, x minus 3, x minus 4, which are all 0. So, now let us go in the negative direction. So, y minus 1 will be x of minus of minus 1 because it is minus n. So, it will be x 1 which is equal to 1 here x 1 is equal to 1. So, y minus 1 is equal to 1. Similarly, y minus 2 is equal to x of minus of minus 2 equal to x 2 which is equal to 1. Similarly, y minus 3 is equal to x of 3, okay, minus of minus 3 equals 3 is equal to 1. y of minus 4 is equal to x of 4, which is equal to 0. y of minus 5 will be x of 5. Now, it has been not been defined as x5 anything will be 0. So, now we do not need to go anything anywhere further in the negative direction, but will it will all the value will all be 0. So, the important points for us are this y 0, y 1, y minus 1, y minus 2, y minus 3 and y minus 4. So, taking these points, we have to draw the time reversed discrete time signal. Okay? So, let us do that. So, we got these values of y at n equals to 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and minus 4. So, taking these values, we have to draw the time reverse discrete time signal. So, let us draw the axis first. Discrete time axis. This is y n equals to x minus one zero minus one minus two minus three minus four. So y zero is zero. So it is zero here. 
y minus 1 is 1, y minus 2 is 1, y minus 3 is also 1, and y minus 4 is 0. So, this is the time reversed discrete time signal. This is the original or the reference discrete signal and this is the time reversed. So, if you can see, this is the mirror image of this folded along the discrete time axis in the negative direction. Okay, just the folded version of this. So, the time reversal is also called as the folding of a signal. So, the time reverse signal is just a mirror image along the discrete time axis or the continuous time axis in the continuous time domain. So, if you visualize it as a mirror being placed here on the amplitude axis, so this will just be the mirror image of that. The time reverse signal will be the mirror image of the original or reference signal. So, here we have discussed the time reversal operation the whole process in both the continuous time domain and the discrete time domain. So I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering. Have a great day. Thank you very much.